What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel City Boy Farming. In this video, we're gonna be installing this Earth Minded Rain Barrel Kit. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. So we're back at it again. Again, I got this off of Facebook market for 75 bucks. Very cheap. Uh, yes, it is full grade. You can actually see exactly where the water was at. Uh, so I dumped all the water out because I did not have this covered. But don't worry, I'm very prepared this year. I'm very uh, well prepared, I should say, because I'm not going to have the same mistakes that I had last year. So it's a good thing that you write things down and take notes of things. But as you can see, here go the first time I ever used my earth minded kit i just sealed it back up with the seal that it came with uh but this one now is going to that one and it's supposed to get some rain tomorrow hopefully it's a lot but that one's still full of rain it was frozen which is cool so i got that covered and then if i ever want to attach a pump to it i just use that so i will be getting the pump as well this one I gotta fix. So once I attach, cause I, I need to attach this back cause when I push it down, water come out. So I'm trying to make sure it goes into there, but it's not. So that's a whole nother thing. And I'm gonna attach this kit to this one. I'm gonna install it on the side cause the way I looked at my gutter is coming off on the side. So hopefully it catch it better and it will fill this up very quickly and i know what you're thinking you're like oh no i mean you gotta have this cover i will have this cover i'm going to make sure i have this cover instead of like actually having a cover i'm going to spray paint it black birds in my uh flying over their territory so i'm gonna make sure i spray paint this front part black the top part black and then I make sure I'm gonna do the side black. This is the main spots I get sunlight. And when I have that covered, this side should be perfectly fine. It shouldn't be, you know, exposed to the sun too much, but just in case I will do like this top part because I need to see exactly where the water is at. Even though I can't open this part and look for myself, but I, want, I just wanna make sure. This is where the turkeys was at. This whole thing is getting moved. This is gonna get moved. But I'm gonna talk about that later on. So I'm making sure that this stay attached. So I'm gonna have to start installing this and hopefully I can get it there the way I want it. All right, it's a little tight. It's a little tight, but we can, I think we can still get it. Um, so hopefully it'll work perfectly, perfectly. So hopefully it fit perfectly. Uh, so here it goes. I'm gonna try to drill a hole in there. All right, that's the hole. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that, that should have been centered. I'm mad that I didn't get that, that should have been centered. I'm mad that I didn't get that centered. Let me see if I can. Now you can see, all right, you can see exactly where I marked it at. So I'm doing it the opposite way so it won't screw off. So, Righty tighty, lefty loosey, I'm going lefty loosey. Do that so I won't get stuck in there. Let me see if I can get it just a groove in there. All right, just in case you don't know, this is how it works. You just stick this part inside the hole, fold it in there. Some people make it greasy so it fit easier. Uh, and the water will go through there out here into the tube that's going into your rain barrel. So it's kind of like a filtering system in a way. So no big uh, debris would get inside. 
this is a perfect thing because I got one right under it. Let me see if you can see inside of it and it's gonna catch it. Eh, can't really see that, but it's gonna catch it and it goes in there. So this fills up really quick. So hopefully I'll get this job done on this side as well. Yeah, let's see. All right, as we can see, it's a perfect fit and it's nice and snug and tight. That's how you want it, but you still want it adjustable. Don't twist it around like that too much. You can cut it with the sharp edges of this, of the gutter. So it's nice and in there. This part is tight, perfect. Some water can come in there. That is awesome. So now what we're gonna do is install the tube part and we're gonna install it right in this part. Well, we're gonna fit it first, see where it will reach. I definitely need to clean this off as well. See the chickens be all over and messing up my screws and stuff that I had. Definitely gotta clean that off. Chicken poop. Um, but make sure I do this right. Uh, okay. I just make sure that that's right. Birds do usually get stuck in my gutter. I don't know why or how. So I do, I do have to watch out for that. And what I do is just open this back up and the bird flies out. Let me make sure. I don't even think I need the screw, but I would put the screw in there just in case. But let's install the uh, tube. All right, same thing that I do with the gutter. Uh, I'm gonna start count, uh, clockwise, then counterclockwise. That's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, well, the hole came out perfectly, but look at that. Why? Definitely need to clean this out too. Oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, so now I need to hide, I need to figure out how I'm gonna fish this out. Might need to get a magnet or something on a string. Uh, I'm gonna have to think of something to get that out. But in the meantime, let me see if this will fit. And like it fits perfectly, let me just push it in. Ah, uh, yes, it's in there very well, and I'm gonna let gravity do the rest. In the meantime, I'm gonna be on my way to pick up some spray paint. Pick up some spray paint, okay. And take it from there. So it should be able to collect some water, so I should hopefully, hopefully I can spray paint it tonight. Uh, then I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like later on, because like I said, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. But other than that, it looks great. All right, just made a quick stop at Home Depot and got some spray paint. So like I said, I'm gonna do the top side and front and a little bit of this side. So I hopefully, hopefully it turns out great. I might have to double spray paint it, but I don't know, but <sighs> only time to tell. Uh, this is what it, it might look like. This, this is the result so far. And I didn't get the top part because I have to clean it really well. So I'm, I'm just leaving it like this, but this should be pretty good. I could probably get away with just adding a little tablecloth on top or something. But yeah, this is it. A lot of spray paint been used. Okay, just one can really, and not even half of the other can. Just one can did this whole thing. I did use the other can to spray in like gaps. That's about it. But. Just the results, and of course, this is what the I'm gonna do the top layer, and later on in another video, I'm gonna show you what that looked like. I'm sorry if my headphones sound like I'm far away. That's why I'm using headphones. But other than that, this is pretty much it. If you find this video pretty helpful, please hit that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification to get notified when I post more videos. Again, this is City Boy Farming. Thanks for watching. Peace, and don't forget to share. Oh, 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 oh,